be able to farm it. Uh, so, it's kind of one of those things where support's not going to make that much of a difference here, and Lycan's kind of just got to weather the storm, but he might go down, doesn't oh, make yeah. it Oh yeah, he stuff. is probably dead, Illuminate coming through, and FY will get credit for the first blood. Chalice pops the health salve and will be good to go for another round. Once gets a little back too greedy from, from Lycan. Like I said, Sanking will naturally push the lane back into you, so I think he should just kind of... Nice thing about Lycan is he will be able to jungle if he so chooses at like level 5, maybe level 6, so... Uh, support like Nyx can take over the lane. Harassment in mid is pretty annoying for, for maybe here on the Dragonite. 12 and 2 CS versus 21 and 7 for the Quap. And as far as levels are concerned, he's a little bit ahead, but that's to be expected in 1v2. And we missed the kill. They just did the same thing with the, the AoE. You said that, yes. You can't reuse these these meme jokes, all right? Yeah, no, 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 no. You're the only one that heard it, because, you know, there's no way that there's other people, there's people watching <laughs> twice. That's true. Everybody today is watching. Uh, we're not watching yesterday. We see the kill top. Missed the kill on the, on, oops, on the troll in the bot lane. Apparently he died. A little bit surprising. What happens when... Yeah. I, 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 I was going somewhere with that. Good one. Thank you. Got him. Somebody clip that. Yes. I'd like to see that, please. <laughs> <laughs> clip best joke BSJ right there. <laughs> that would be amazing. There we go again. Troll has come to play, and Bobo will find his way to the grave one more time. The Illuminate coming through, and that will secure FY with yet another kill. He's 3-0-1, as if he had issues with farming. He had no I issues with farming. this rotation from game. Troll. He's like kind of in a shitty lane bottom. He knows the Lycan's like in a shitty lane top, so both lanes are under duress, and he's going to turn it into a tower with the catapult. So. He pulled the gyrocopter from last down. game. Yeah. Well, X Nova, TP is cancelled, and it looks like Ever will be able to take out that annoying support. Maybe in the mid lane, 26 and 6, he's... wouldn't say he's with Radiant this. Witch Doctor's here as well. Level 4 though. TP support coming in. In the form of FY, here comes the Illuminate Burrow Strike to set it up. Epicenter as well. Bobo is dead. A lot of damage being done to PKT in the meantime. And the Glimpse actually keeps Chalice a little bit more safe. In the meantime, Solvnulithri will die. We found out yesterday that is a Danish name. We don't know why a Chinese player is playing with a Danish name. Thank you. It's a lot of space. And this tower is going to die. The question is, can solve the wolves? Do anything about it? The dragon tail comes out, secures them the last hit on the tower, and with the help of the cast, I believe this is a dead disruptor. So, nice kill going the way of LGD. In the meantime, top lane, a little bit of push coming out from Ever, but that was a nice four staff. Fy is here. Fy using his four staff on the DK to get him to the bottom lane. Oh, he gets off the epicenter, the impale comes out right after, so not a whole lot of damage done. Bobo getting slowed by the Caustic Finale. Chalice doesn't have any mana for a Burrow Strike, so we'll probably have to back here. That name is impossible to pronounce, actually. Has come to play as well. Glimpse not available for another 11 seconds. Chalice does have TP. Kinetic Kill's gonna block him out, but here comes the rotation from maybe the stun on top of the Nyx Assassin into the Burrow Strike, and the Breeze Fire is enough to take him out completely. Looks like Kaigo has come as well into this bot lane. Amalgamation of ever heroes. Chalice gets glimpsed back. He's now visible. There's a sonic wave. It actually misses. The Burrow Strike beautifully done. Dodges it and will cause Quap to die. Although that breathe fire looked like it whiffed a little bit. Unless that was a raindrop. I'm not sure. But a two for one right now. The kinetic field will keep maybe in place. And never see the pure damage coming into play. Buyback by the Witch Doctor. It might be too late as maybe one more right click will do it, but the wand keeps him alive a little bit longer. One more impetus is enough to take him out. PKT in the meantime has Maledict applied. There's no getting out of that. So X Nova does get something out of that buyback. Meanwhile, the troll is just arming it up. Yep. So that's just one of those fights that kind of went even. But one team has a guy. I feel like I, I've seen a lot of other people do it, and uh, most people do, but they do catch. Oh, oh he missed! The spike carapace only level one, so not the longest stun, but it looks like they'll find the kill regardless, so no harm done at the end of the day. I actually do feel like Yapsor would be maxing carapace. Yeah, I wouldn't Thoughts. be surprised. I, I just feel like I feel like I've uh, seen him against these type of heroes like Coddle. He goes like 1 1 4. Well, the Battle Fury does do the extra damage to Roche, so it makes it quite quick. 
And PKT following in the footstep of Troll, War Troll Warlord right now. Just call him Troll Lord. That would be easier. Pop We're blinks up. Seems that the ancients were. <laughs> or just Troll. That's true. You can't just call him <laughs> Troll. They get the impale off into the mana burn. Do they have enough to take him out? If the Sonic Wave? Absolutely. A nice hit and run, if you will. Ever getting a much needed kill. Meanwhile, top lane, Chalice. Trying to be brought back. Do they have any AOE damage? Doesn't look like it. If only Lycan went Battle Fury. <laughs> Yeah. That would be the day. Or the Sandstorm Recall cancel. I like it. Yep. My boy CSJ, if he was playing like, and he would have seen that. He would have seen the line. He would have known. Yeah, no doubt. He'll discuss so, it with him after the game. I'll make sure. Sounds good. I'm not sure we'll see him again after this, this series. Because <laughs> tomorrow we're going to play. <laughs> so Volumnos getting initiated on, and that is a lot of damage with the Battle Trance. Yeah, Troll War and DK is actually a nice combo um, because DK obviously limits has limited damage output during his stun, so that Troll gives him that solo kill potential that he doesn't otherwise like to call it. Maybe though, he spotted. See if they want to initiate on him. Here comes the impetus damage. There's the impale mana burn as well. He's stuck inside the kinetic field, and yes, pure damage is good against Dragon Knight. Who would have thunk it? Nice kill from Ever. I, I think that uh, Ever thought that. Yes. Yeah. Thanks. Tier 1 tower at half HP now. <laughs> Looks like they're not going to be able to push it, though. Like an ulti is out. Yes, indeed. Necro's Necro still coddle. online for now. Geigo and company. They see the troll. Oh, he's going to get spotted. He gets stunned into the Illuminate. They kill two. My lord, the damage is out of control, but Chalice is spotted. Sandstorm will not save you as CSJ is running out of mana. Does get the kill on the Sand King. And the Aegis is now taken out. Bobo is maledicted, should survive. But the chase is now on CSJ. Very little to speak of. He gets blinding lit. He's all lit up right now into the cask, and he should, so be, should be done. Lit AF. So a four for two advantage for LGD. Yeah, uh, I said they weren't going to get the tower, but they thought differently, I guess. <laughs> and they forced the issue, something we talked about with our previous game. They usually just stick around too long at these towers. They had none of their abilities. Good teams like LGD are going to recognize, hey, these guys have no abilities. Let's kill them. And that's uh, what happened. Tommy with the double damage now. Level 18 about to come. He's looking very pretty. The max fervor stacks increased with the level 15 talent, so he can continue to split push at his heart's content. Very far. Gary, top of the net worth along with the Dragon Knight Impale, or sorry, the Burrow Strike. Looks like they're going to try to find PKT. He gets the Impale off the pile. This will be a big kill. The gem drops to the deck. Lycan not able to pick it up. Looks like it is Chalice holding it for his teammates, so they haven't lost it yet. I go in the meantime. Ooh, okay. Links away. Will be fine. And the shrine is available for him as well. You okay with that? No common. Okay. On the BKB or the CS Jizzle? CS Jizzle. Oh, okay. What about the BKB? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think he probably needs it, so I, I don't mind it. Oh, hey, boy, you have to two at the center to follow. It's going to be on a bunch of heroes. BKB popped by maybe, doing as much damage as he can. The Disruptor will attempt to run away. The Shrine keeping CSJ alive. In the meantime, Troll getting quite low. The Sonic Wave is going to hit a couple heroes. Nova looks to be the first to fall in this engagement. As the fight is quite split up. FY4 stats on the other side. They'll find the Nyx Assassin. Chalice getting beat down by the Enchantress. The Illuminate coming out to heal him. This Agonis is doing absolute work. Two for two as FY finally falls to the ground. K uh, Kaigo in the meantime getting right clicked by the Dragon Knight who's in turn being right clicked by CSJ who doesn't have a whole lot of mana to speak of now. He gets slowed no longer in Dragon form. Here comes Ame as well. They're going to be able to pick off that Quap finally. It's a three for three as the Dragon Knight falls. Crimson Guard is popped. Ame should be okay. Chalice as well. LGD Crazy has fight. done a really good job of keeping this gym. The Caudal yeah, died, yeah. the DK picked it up, the DK died, the Sand King picked it up, so they still have the gym. Smoked up again, recalling the DK from bottom. Oh boy, they're trying to catch. This is a long one. They're going to try to get the Quap. The Static Storm applied, the Dragon form, Dragon Tail combination. 
Maybe. It is a bit of damage, but it's not enough to take out Bump. In the meantime, though, they find CSJ finally taken out first. As he's going to fall with the Disruptor as well. PKT looks to be next on the list as the amalgamation of LGD have just completely surrounded him. So three easy kills for LGD. And they can probably just push with this as maybe still in Dragon form. Lycan very low. Enchantress forced to buy back. Where is Lycan? Look at Lycan. Dies to the Troll Warlord who wasn't even part of this fight. He was literally watching him. He wasn't even hitting him. That. He took like an extra 10 <laughs> seconds to kill him. Oh, really? Yeah. Strike on the CSJ. This is a dead tier 3, if not more. Maybe his Dragon Form is still going to be up for another 25% or so. Yep, that is mid racks for LGD. Hard to imagine a way forever to come back in this game. They're just going to go on to the, the tier 3 bot now. Why not? You got Troll Warlord. Team fight to troll and your base is gone. Deep. Down goes the tier 3. Lycan dead for 40 more seconds. So not a lot of hope here forever. Because they're going to have to concede this second set of racks. Don't think they're going to go for top. But a lot of damage has been done. Burrow Strike is there onto CSJ if they can get this. Now, the four staff very nicely played. In fact, they're going to glimpse back Dragonite. He's going to pop the BKB. They're going to turn this back around onto CSJ. That is a dieback. And the GGs will come out. Not too surprising as LGD. Just feels like they had a bit of more control in this game than in the previous one. But still same result as we were expecting.